you know, we were working on this film for so many years that uh, it's almost like I forgot that it's going release be honi hai. <laughs> Is film pe sirf kaam karna hai <laughs> aur, uh, it, 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 it almost like stopped being a possibility. Uh, so it was almost like, uh, ke, haan, this film is, you know, you're just supposed to work on it. You're never supposed to see it. You are director on this film, co-producer, DOP, editor, co-screenwriter. Is there yeah. anything you did not do? <laughs> well, I didn't act. <laughs> Bilal, it's such a pleasure to see you and have you on Film Companion. um many many congratulations on the legend of mola jan it is such a ferocious film and jagman and i have so many questions uh it's also a massive blockbuster matlab uh, yeah. talk about breaking record so so i want to begin with this lovely interview i saw of you chatting with your parents as well and mm-hmm. and your father was talking about how i mean you made your debut in 2013 with war and it's taken you almost a decade to bring mola jat to the bring big screen and your father said that he would keep saying bilal kya bana rahe ho ben har bana rahe ho mughal e azam bana rahe ho and yeah. and you would say to him just wait and see uh, mm-hmm. and what you've created is is fantastic so what have the last few weeks been like is this the success you imagined when you were toiling for so many years mm-hmm. um well you know we were working on this film for so many years ke uh, it's almost like i forgot ke kabhi release bhi honi hai <laughs> is film pe sirf kaam karna hai <laughs> aur uh, it, 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 it almost like stopped being a possibility uh, because of all the uh, you know issues we faced uh, once we were ready with the film we had some you know uh, legal matters and then we had covid kick in and i'm sure that's the case with a lot of films all over the world and we had to go through the same thing as well uh, so it was almost like uh, ke ha huh, this film is you know you're just supposed to work on it you never supposed to see it <laughs> Uh, so Bilal, first of all, I want to congratulate you. The film, like I've seen the film, and it's one of the most uh, like lovely film in terms of like in the Punjabi language. Like we, mm-hmm. I I've been watching the content in the Punjab region of India, and this mm-hmm. looks like a film of another world. We have not seen something like this being made here. So, mm-hmm. but what what surprises me the most is that you don't speak the language. You don't speak yeah. Punjabi, and yet you made a Punjabi film, like one of its kind, Punjabi film. So, how did you manage yeah. that? Um, well, uh, I, I don't speak Punjabi. बहुत मारी पंजाबी है ये मेरी. But uh, you know, being in Lahore and being around, you know, with my parents speak Punjabi, people around me speak Punjabi. So I'm familiar with the language. I can understand it. I just can't speak it fluently because you know, um, just haven't been doing that over the years, right? Uh, lekin you know i i i understand um, the language itself um, i felt like uh, because it was you know doing a reinvention of the punjabi gandasa genre which had inspired me there was no other way uh, to make you know reboot mola jat than to have it be in punjabi and it became sort of this exciting challenge for for everyone um initially when you know uh, when i was starting the film i i i thought you know uh, it was the era of the the graphic novels you know in 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 hollywood and uh, graphic novel films you know that sort of style and and the superhero style and i felt ke you know it should be a visual film it should uh, be more action driven uh, and maybe easy on the dialogues you know uh, but then working with nasir adib saab who is the writer of the original mola jat and he's written i got no over 400 punjabi films um so once he got on board and you know he started injecting his dialogues into the screenplay it just became a different beast and that's when i really realized the the power of the the language and i felt like you know this is not something uh, we have to shy away from we have to you know uh, embrace it and celebrate it um so then the dialogues the punjabi dialogue So they became an integral part uh, of the film and you know part of its identity and i think a huge uh, part of its success we, we're uh, now realizing are 
is the punjabi are the dialogues because people are taking them home yeah. with them right the dialogues are uh, such a highlight of this film and uh, yeah. so so you punjabi must have gotten better in the process of making the film right uh it, it got much better and uh, then it got much worse after covid because i stopped speaking it so uh, <laughs> you know i i i've completely forgotten it but uh but now what i want to you know start maybe uh, speaking it again learning it uh, again um it's just one of those things with languages you know the once you get into it suddenly you know it, it just starts to come back and then once you stop uh it's it's like gone so yeah um yeah Bilal, you 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 talked about rebooting the 1979 classic, which is also, of course, called Mola Jar. Uh, mm-hmm. Fawad said in an interview that when mm-hmm. you first told him that <clears throat> let's reboot that, mm-hmm. he said, "Tu pagal hai kya?" I want to know why that response. Uh, mm-hmm. Why did it seem like such an impossible task? Was it also that sort of 40 crore budget, or wh- why was it a pagal venture? yeah um actually a uh, budget just uh, you know the producer can give talk more about you know uh where we started from and where we ended with the budget but it was more about um taking on a genre that people had written off and were actually had had blamed for the death of our local industry because uh you know when the original mola jar mm-hmm. happened and and those few films that came at that time um they just started a, a new genre that ruled the the pakistani film industry for many years uh, and eventually everyone was just repeating themselves it was like they were they refused to evolve and they were just making the same film all over again with different names and characters um so people were always blaming those films ke iski wajah se our you know industry crashed and people stopped going to cinemas um and i think uh, well, so part of that was you know how do you take on something like that uh, which has that sort of you know stigma around it um at the same time uh trying to touch a classic you know that's always always uh, usually not considered a great idea right because um, you're not competing with that particular film necessarily itself but what it has become over the sure. years and the, the impact idea of, of it, it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, so which is greater than that film itself? Because uh, um, you know that film was just at the right time. It it wasn't you know a, a very well produced film, but it became huge. It became part of our popular culture. Um, so that's one of the things. The other thing is that Fawad, for him personally, you know his his image is that of uh, of the romantic hero, right? And uh, and at that time he was famous and popular because of that image. and now to get into this you know more of a a, a macho aggressive you know well built uh, male you know th- that character um i think that uh, took a little while f- for him to sort of visualize and you know just just um, uh, just trying to you know just get get into that sort of zone uh, but i think once he got into it there was just you know not, nothing was holding him back like i think he really enjoyed that space once he got into it well he's his performance is superb so so, so is yeah. uh, you know so is the rest of the ensemble cast which which we will talk about but you know mm-hmm. first i want to understand you are director on this film co-producer dop editor co-screenwriter is there yeah. anything you did not do <laughs> well i didn't act <laughs> uh yeah uh, actually it's just um I don't know for for me personally there there's there's not much separation between these roles you know even though they're different roles but it's almost like you know when I was making student films back in the day um or just my own short films uh I don't know I've just evolved doing uh, everything myself uh, well not everything but you know just just wearing uh, a lot of hats um and I guess that's just continued and every project i'm like okay this is the last time i'm never going to do this again never going to do this to myself again uh but then i end up doing it every time so uh, hopefully this was the last time really it's but, but <laughs> how do you actually juggle so many things because when you're also you're the dop and the director plus you're editing it as you're shooting it uh, yeah do you compartmentalize or do all the functions just sort of become one 
they do to quite some extent so so for example you know when i'm directing and working with actors um then you know the 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 dop side of me is is uh, working as well when i'm thinking okay so here's the light and do, how do i uh, you know when i'm working with the blocking uh, uh, with the actors and the movements uh, so it's the the camera and the light and the actors you know it it's almost like all um i think for me it's easier to achieve some of that harmony uh, you know the, the the visual harmony uh, where you know it, it all just feels a little cohesive uh, and each scene has that beginning middle end um visually as well as you know in in, in the rhythm and, and the storytelling so f- i don't know for me it's always been difficult to give up these roles uh, i think it's it's maybe also like the the control freak in me but i'm i'm trying to you know uh, yeah i'm trying to remind myself never to <laughs> not to do that again because it uh, it is very tiring like there's no doubt about that it's uh, it, it just it starts to add up over time yeah yeah bilal what i personally loved about your film is that how your 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 film which is generally which is mainly a male world you know it's jats versus not it's a male world but you have presented some great female characters in the film too so you know punjab like you have also highlighted in the film that is it's a it's once called a kuri mar state but you have hmm. addressed that problem in the most relevant fashion so what hmm. was your inspiration behind those female characters when you trying to make a statement that you know uh, women can do a lot you know if we give them opportunities was there uh, you know any such kind of thoughts behind it yeah uh, well the, the punjabi cinema uh, always did have very very strong uh, women characters but at the same time Uh, a lot of the concepts you know they they're very dated and they just don't they, you know they, it hasn't aged that well um and uh, now when you think of it you're like you know uh, how is this the norm back then you know where the fate of any woman is decided by a few men just you know uh, casually a, um, you know just to settle scores they'll have one woman get married off to and it's just something that um I mean it wasn't something where I was like hey deliberately you know I have to avoid this it was just yeah. naturally like that's just not something I can <laughs> you know uh, that just works in this world anymore you know like it's just, um and uh, so so we did keep some of the the, the strong woman element and, and decided to take it uh, a step further uh, so in this uh, at the same time you know the the damsel in distress is a part of uh you know these stories as well and in these uh, the world building uh, so you see these two you know uh, the the, the po- polarities right so the damsel distress and then you have the very strong empowered woman um so i think yeah the, the film has like i guess a lot of both of both of those sides yeah and it's not just that uh, they are there in the film and they are strong women it's it's like they are influencing the decision of men in the film so for example the men in the film whatever they do it's because of women and you know uh, be it yeah, the mother, absolutely be it the mother of the fawaz character or in be it yeah. uh, nurina yeah. as a sister yeah. so that's really such a statement that you made in the film yeah and it, uh, i mean i i feel like that's that's the way it, it is as it well should be, you yeah. know uh, yeah i mean for, to quite some extent i feel like you know in in, in punjab and you know in, in the villages to quite some extent uh, from what i hear you know um it's the, that is the case uh, but i guess it's not represented the same way um uh, in films so um, so yeah i mean that that was one of the the things that became you know uh, important for us and uh, then having the actors who could um take those roles to you know the the next level and everything so uh, so that's definitely something that we've been getting a lot of positive Uh, feedback on so so i'm happy you know <laughs> people are going to go that way yeah. yeah yeah so uh, another thing that i want to know is that like do you follow the content that uh, the punjabi industry in india uh, currently doing or making the kind of films do you follow that uh not that much uh, i mean to be to be honest the last few years i've been a bit disconnected with <laughs> what's going on uh, in the world besides you know just watching some uh netflix shows or you know uh, indian cinema will not not the history of it but yes all the big hits you know 
we all love them here and <laughs> we 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 have to see all of the the the, the big ones uh, so i've been seeing some shows on netflix uh, and amazon uh, some indian shows um, i think mirzapur was one you know the the last one that i really really enjoyed so uh, like if we just put our focus on the punjabi film industry here in india mm-hmm. so what the, the kind of content that they are make, making the a last decade or so is the comedy okay, okay. is the comedy yeah, genre yeah 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 so, yeah no so, so that, i'm yeah yeah the uh, sorry to cut you off but yeah uh, i'm not familiar with yeah. um, the, the modern punjabi cinema at all at all so so know. so let me tell you yeah. so the 90% of the film that we are making here in punjab are like the comedy yeah. films so the comedy yeah. genre yeah. like the people are so filmmakers here are so obsessed mm-hmm. with comedy films that even mm-hmm. when they are making like a serious film say like about yeah. partition or about uh, these the mexico thing that you know how punjabis mm-hmm. are migrating Haan, so even yeah, when yeah. chal mexico so, chal liye aaj hum mexico chal liye yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so even so even when they are making those films they they put mm-hmm. the you know for the comic relief they put the uh, comedians in the film and even yeah. we have recently started importing comedians from pakistan as well like we have now yeah, chal yeah, liye and we yeah. have so many you know they are working in the punjabi films chal mera book yeah. you must have heard of i've heard of that obviously so, yes so so every time we kind of complain or we kind of uh, you know say that we are kind of done with the comedy films and you're just making comedy films the the answer that we get is that uh, punjabis by nature are like that like they just want to have fun time they just want to see people yeah. getting married having laughs and you know stuff like that but your yeah. film has kind of proven them wrong that the punjabis mm-hmm. do have a the, the kind of response that your film is getting uh, among the indians the punjabis living abroad like i'm mm-hmm. getting messages on daily basis the kind of response that they are giving just shows that yeah. you know you've proven them wrong that punjabis do have a taste for drama tragedy and action so what do you have to say about yeah. that yeah yeah no it's true uh, i mean i i guess it just so happens that punjabi is such a great language for comedy as well and uh, and also the the jugat bazi side of you know <laughs> yeah. so so it's it, it just yeah uh, it just works really well for comedy and and we've also had a lot of that with the the theater the stage yeah uh, theater we, you know punjabi has been a huge part of that um, but yes for me um, the film was always meant to be um, intense and you know um, and dramatic um, and there's not a lot of comedy in there and uh, I, uh, again you know going back to that genre that we had which was very unique uh, you know how india has the the bollywood genre that is has been you know unique to india and um, sort of been exported to the world and i f- felt like you know uh, the punjabi gandasa mm-hmm. genre um, was very you know dramatic and loud and theatrical and you know these exchanges of like insults and taunts and you know it, it was a style of its own it was it was like the the western of of the east right um so it was true to the the spirit of that in a way the, what we had lost and uh, um and i think it's 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 great that you know <laughs> there's something less like a counterweight to all that punjabi comedy that's out yeah, there yeah, uh, yeah. so i think it's been refreshing for for the punjabi audiences and i i, I don't know i have this feeling that uh, because like the, when the first mola jatt came so they they we had like a couple of films made with a similar style here in punjab some of them like the kind of they tried to do something similar here in punjab as well and then those kind mm-hmm. that genre like how it vanished in pakistan it also kind of vanished yeah. there in india and then they yeah. started doing the comedy films this film called carry on jatta which made a lot yeah. of noise and then everyone started making the comedy so i think your film will not just uh, kind of uh, bring change there in the uh, your punjabi cinema but there mm-hmm. people are already talking like let's just make a you know they're already mm-hmm. having those kind of conversations on the producer table that now this is the taste of the public so let's just do something you know on that yeah Uh, wow that's that's great to hear that's a i guess that's a compliment to the film <laughs> so puri puri khalbali aapne bacha di hai hamari idhar ki punjabi industry mein bhi pura matlab har tarah baat ho rahi hai bhi bola hai bola hai that's that's great that's great to know i mean i, I wish um, it, it it could release in india you know like uh, it's just one of those things where i feel like uh, a lot of uh, we've been getting a lot of messages from yeah, even, you know even, the, uh, from india and you know uh, i 
even I've been getting a lot of PMs that when are we getting to see it here in India. So I, I hope there's a possibility of immunity soon, right? Yeah, who knows? Hopefully soon, <laughs> sooner rather than later. That's so Bilal, I, I want to go back a little bit to, mm -hmm. to the characters in the movie. Okay, and mm -hmm. what I really loved was the fact that, of course, it's called The Legend of Mala Jad, mm -hmm. but it's not just about Mala Jad. In fact, in mm -hmm. that first half, for a long time, he's just not even on screen. Uh, and, yeah. and we're going into the stories of the nuts of Nuri and the brother and mm -hmm. the sister. And for me, Nuri is such a fantastic antagonist. Uh, he's mm -hmm. not just a bad guy. He's got his whole sort of world view. Uh, mm -hmm. He's a feminist in in his yeah. own twisted way. Um, yeah. Of course, of course, he's brutal and he's a killer. But that end, when right at the end, and and spoiler alert for everybody uh, who hasn't seen the film yet, when when he dies <laughs> appreciating his opponent, uh, for yeah. me that was just such a. He's almost a poet. He is. Yeah, that's that's correct. <laughs> Yeah. How did you create this guy? Um, so these characters, both of them, Malajat mm -hmm. and Nurinath, are the the big famous, you know, the the, the two famous characters from uh, the original Malajat from from back in the day. So obviously, these are inspired directly from those two characters. And Nurinath, the the uh, the villain, he became larger than life uh, because of his dialogues and you know. Um, the, the way he delivers them and, and uh, his own, you know, like poetic sort of a, a, a villain, right? Bad guy. Uh, so that was something that was very new. Uh, so this is building on that, uh, but adding, uh, while those characters uh, back in the day were very two-dimensional, uh, this time we decided to give them, you know, some, some character arcs and, and backstories and uh, just give them more depth. Um, and uh, for, for both of these uh, roles were played by two legends from from you know back in the day, uh, Sultan Rahi Saab and Mustafa Qureshi Saab, and that was the big question always, regardless of how popular and famous Fawad Khan and Hamza Basi were here. Okay, how will they, um, you know, play those? It's it's like trying to play Gabbar Singh, you know, uh, yeah. again. So so it's one of those things. It was a huge huge um, you know challenge, and uh, people. Um, weren't expecting, I think, what, what they got. You know, I think they got more than what they were expecting with, with these two guys. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, that's that's uh, that's how we chose to sort of deal with with these two characters. And uh, it's really a story about um, rivalry between the two and and their and their chemistry, uh, on screen chemistry, and also off screen chemistry. Like when when they're not on screen and they're doing their separate scenes still in your mind you know it's you you have this image that they will come together and just that combination of uh, Fawad and Hamza I think uh, that worked really nicely with yeah. these characters yeah even that just just to add to that that uh, like the two scenes that I had uh, watching uh, you know had tears in my eyes were like when mm -hmm. uh, Nuri Nath uh, you know saves his sister right at start She's like a little fan, and then in the yeah. end, he ties that turban on her head, and then those two scenes yeah. are like the, the most uh, beautiful scenes. Yeah, no, they're the two of my favorites as well, and. Uh... Uh, because of the first flashback scene, it's such a simple scene because he's just narrating his his backstory, and it gives you insight into that character where he's coming from, uh, and also tells you, you know, why uh, uh, is Daro, you know, his sister, wh why is she the one person that he's he's closest to, and it's almost like she's his, uh, you know, what what Kryptonite is to Superman, you know, <laughs> in a way, like his his uh, greatest vulnerability at the same time. Um, and it's uh, it's really interesting to see how she affects him in different ways uh, as, as the film progresses. But I don't think, I, I mean, I was wondering, I was like, when was the last time we saw a villain who is uh, also... With such a big heart. Yeah, with such a big heart, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A contradiction, it's so unexpected. Yeah, and I think it's the case with both characters, Mola and Nuri, where uh, one of the things, you know, 
um, I mentioned to to Hamza was you know don't play him like a villain. You you're the yeah. hero of the film, and you know the same thing with uh, Fawad. You know you're you're the bad guy in this film. You you're not like the the you know the the perfect good good guy. You know yeah. so, uh, always right. You know so um, so there's a bit of an overlap between the two. It's yeah. not like clearly black and white, and yeah, I think they, that adds a lot. Yeah, um, like the hero. So it's, had- the hero like the fawad has you know so many negative shades like he he's not treating yeah. his mother that well you know the other hand yeah. bluey has so it's kind of a mix of both the shades it is and it and it's almost like uh, both are very similar because usually yeah. you have you know the, the the antagonist and protagonist at two different ends and and they can't meet a lot of times you know people compare mola and nuri to like the batman and joker of you know part punjabi cinema here um but but the more i think about it you know batman and the joker could never be friends you know but mola and nuri they could be the best of friends yeah. had the 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 plot been a little bit different had they just met casually you know anywhere um they could have ended up you know being great friends so it's it's not like they're polar opposites in that way yeah yeah so tell me why you were co-creating with uh, Nasir Adib Saab who wrote the original like you said uh, mm-hmm. how did the two of you decide ki isko rakhna hai aur isko hum reinvent karenge you know because mm-hmm. you are dealing as you said with a classic which is bigger yeah. in the imagination um, than then you know than the film itself mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so it's interesting uh, i wrote the screenplay in english first right um and that's when i went back to his older films and i would just like write down di- random dialogues from his films and see where you know where i could fit them just to have placeholders in the script um and then uh, when he came on board he was you know putting in all these dialogues into um and and obviously it's not as simple as just putting the dialogues in the scenes start to you know have their own life and take their own own shape um so it was quite an interesting and challenging uh, process because he is from a completely different world right and then uh, myself and everyone all the actors were like you know a different world different influences and uh, when when i first met nasta we were not on the same page at all you know it was like uh, whatever he was saying and speaking it just wasn't working for me right and the challenge was more for him i guess because uh, we couldn't there, there was no option to meet halfway he had to come all the way to you know our, our world and our side you know it's not like we could go back there, there was no option and uh, that was just fantastic you know at at that age and after having done so many films you know you're uh, you can be really stuck and rigid and, and uh, even if you want to be flexible it can be you know quite uh, difficult but over time it took us like over a year and by the end of the year we were just talking like speaking the same language you know it was just like we almost were speaking in 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 sign language you know we, we were uh, so aligned um, so i think uh, behind the scenes that was one of you know uh, the the memorable parts for for me was you know how we started off like you know in <laughs> poles apart and then uh, just coming together to to make this film and i think uh, he was very anxious as well because um, that is something that became you know his his you know sort of like claim to fame o- o- over the years and now uh, a lot of people telling him you know don't touch it because you know if you if you, if you mess it up then it's it's all over you know it's it's all gone and <laughs> don't do it um so i think he was very nervous um okay will it work or not because it had never worked over the years um even when he was trying to rewrite you know uh, different variations of the film um and then people eventually gave up it was like everyone was trying to to mola jat again but uh, um so yeah uh, i mean i'm he's he's very happy <laughs> the witch turned out you know <laughs> he's, he's uh he's like i'm happier than i was the first time so this is <laughs> great <laughs> but i I'll, i'll tell you bilal what i was not at all prepared for was the level of violence okay you went yeah. whole game of thrones on us uh, yeah. i was not expecting to see severed heads and uh, swords going through throats and uh, yeah. you know the, 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 that that uh, that sort of beheading uh, mm-hmm. this way and that way and i have to ask how did you decide ki i can push it this far and no further 
Well, when, when you look at all the dialogues that these guys, you know, and, and all the, uh, uh, the jo, uh, and, you know, the all these insults and taunts, like that language, they are speaking that language where it is like, you know, um, and, you know, just like crazy graphic stuff that they're saying to each other, um, which was a part of, you know, like a big part of the genre where people enjoy like, you know, uh, one big insult, graphic insult coming and then this other one. And I was like, this is all talk and no walk, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> in this world, they, they, they mean what they say. They have to yeah. mean what they say. They can't just be like <laughs> talking uh, trash to each other. And, and but when if once you show that, you know, they mean what they say, it just yeah. changes everything. You know, it just uh, raises the stakes uh, for the audiences. Um, and not just... Uh, not just that, you know, I want to treat the, the gore and the violence in, in sort of a, a poetic way, yeah. in, in a way, like where it's beautiful. It's not like meant to, um, you know, sh sh disturb you or, or, you know, just be there. It's it's a part of like this, the, the canvas, you know, it's uh, it's just there, <laughs> you know. Well, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you my, my threshold is low, so I did shut my eyes a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see that in happen in theater, so uh, I'm, I'm aware of that. And <laughs> yes, yes, I, um, I know, I know that. So it's it's right at the edge, right? It's it's right. It's at right the at edge. the edge. And, yeah. and sometimes it is pushing it, <laughs> but uh, personally, I I love it. <laughs> so, but I like how they say that you know even the best of the best films have you know some things people are not happy with and you, there's a section of you work towards those things don't go well so with your film the only literal criticism that i've heard so far is that people are not really comfortable with the punjabi accent of some actors so people are saying that because we wanted to have like big stars in the film we have somewhere kind of compromised with the language punjabi as a language so what do you have to say about that uh well it's one of those things you know there, there's just so many accents uh, and even when you just start traveling, you know, in, in Punjab over here, every like it's almost like every few miles, like the language keeps changing. Yeah. Um, so with all the challenges that we had, it was, you know, how far do we go into should it be like the exact same dialect of like one region or do we take it a little easy on that? Uh, because we, we also want to keep it a little simple. Um, a little closer to Urdu in, in some ways. Uh, so it's easier for people to understand. To understand. Um, yeah. And also because uh, almost half the actors were non-Punjabi. Um, so definitely there, there, you know, there, there's no limit to how perfect you can make the Punjabi. Uh, but for me, it's, um, it's, it's a fantasy Punjab, fantasy world uh, where there is, you know, we're, we're taking some creative license where it's, it might not sound like, you know, uh, one region, key Punjabi, you know, mm -hmm. like, okay, this is just that. Um, but if, you, if if I zoom out and look at the bigger picture, I think this is the best thing that has happened to Punjabi language over here in, in years, you know, because uh, would you, oh, owning up in, in mainstream was very lacking. Thi. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and all these big stars, you know, um, who are not even Punjabi, all of them from all over the country, like coming together and, you know, it's like paying this, this, this tribute to and, uh, you know, making that effort. I think that uh, is much bigger than, you know, that the thodi si Punjabi agar aisi hai, ya uska accent thoda sa farak hai, ya wo hai. Uh, I think the, uh, the idea of the film is bigger than, is beyond that, you know. Yeah, even uh, because the language of the film and the, 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 the grandness of the film is such that you we can look beyond the language. There's so many other things to appreciate in the film that language is just yeah. like a one bit. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, Bilal, it's been a big year for the Pakistani film industry with Joyland, mm -hmm. with the legend of Maula Jat. Uh, what do you see happening in the next few years? Um, you know, just like our cricket team, Fox is always very, very <laughs> difficult to predict. <laughs> you know, we're very unpredictable. It, uh, anything could happen. Like honestly, um, I it's it's hard to say uh, because mm, we keep feeling like there's going to be a big revival, and then you know uh, sometimes uh, 
there are a few films that do really well and are very promising. And then suddenly we have these downers. Um, so it's just difficult to And with the whole dig digital revolution and everything, you know, there's this, there's a different um, um, type of storytelling that's coming up. Um, so I hope we are able to uh, find our sort of our, our own identity, uh, with, you know, uh, in, in cinema over the years. Uh, and I hope it doesn't mean that it's it's sort of like the one genre identity that we keep repeating ourselves. And and we've seen. Um, India, you know, evolve past the, um, because you had the, the Bollywood musical that was ruling the mainstream for su uh, such a long time. And now you see a lot more diversity and a, a lot more different stories. Not that it wasn't there before, but now like it's, it's you know, uh, expanding. Um, and I think uh, we, before we get to, uh, it, I think we mm, probably not going to have one genre. Uh, we're just going to have a lot of different stories and um, a lot of it will be probably catering to overseas, uh, you know, the, the market overseas because um, our cinema industry is just so small right now uh, that the numbers, they, they don't work out that well. Um, so you're seeing, you know, right now we're seeing a lot of like these festival films coming up you know, like Joyland, and, you know, um, so which is not a bad way to go uh, you know I, I think i think that's that's great and something to look forward to uh, but let's see it's just uh, a bit difficult to <laughs> predict where it's going to go right now what's next for you are you just taking a long holiday yes i need to take a long holiday i felt like you know i would be done when the film would be released but uh, it's just you know something every day you know, with, with the distribution and you know with the different markets and and the film is, you know, opening up to some other markets soon. And um, so uh, let's see. But uh, uh, but I feel very relaxed and, and calm. And uh, I think uh, in a few weeks, that void is going to hit me finally. And, <laughs> and that's when I'll jump on to the next one. Yeah, well, uh, don't take don't take seven ten years. years. Yeah, yeah, ten yeah. Years. <laughs> Everyone is telling me that these days. Everyone is saying that. Uh, no, hopefully not. Um, but if it's going to end the way the, this one ended, like I, I'd say, it's been worth it, um, even with ten years, uh, because it, it, it's like half of that time was spent, you know, just just waiting, like waiting either for the film to start or then once we made it waiting for it to get released and um, I feel like mm, this time hopefully if we don't have those issues uh, you know a similar or bigger film can be made in much less less time um, yeah let's see hopefully yeah well it's it's been amazing listening to you on talk about this incredible journey and and uh, like Jagman said uh, we hope that you find a way to put it on OTT here and, and people in India get to see it too. Yeah, that's one of the, the, the main things you know, on, on our mind right now and, and what we're, we're trying to get to that audience because they've actually been reaching out uh, a lot recently. And uh, now that we're done showing the film you know, to, to other territories, it'd be great to just have people in India watch it now. We need more of the Gandasa genre here too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Soon. Thank you, Bilal. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Bilal Lashari, uh, the director of The Legend of Malajat, and you're watching Film Companion. To watch this interview, please subscribe.